Alrighty then, episode 22 of season 4, Trade Ya. Now, am I the only one who thinks of Pokemon or card games or something like that? <laughs> I'll trade you my Hitmontop for your Charizard. I... <laughs> Or, you know, is this slavery? <laughs> I'd trade you Sakura for a bunny rabbit. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But trade you. Is, is somebody going to owe a debt to someone? Like, spike at your service, but serious? Like, <laughs> actual enslaved debt? I have no idea. Um, the possibilities are there. Why don't we see what we're in for? Let's go! Ooh, Rainbow Falls! <laughs> you say that about every day. Traders Exchange, alright. Okay, let's mention the princess hood again. <laughs> there always has to be a princess at the exchange. Last what? year was Princess Cadence. This year it's me. It's just a formality. I'm sure none of the other ponies will even notice I'm here. <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> Could be wrong, but I think they might have noticed. <laughs> Hi, miss! What makes you think Pinky has holy water? Do you have some? Who told you? Well, what do I have to do to get some? Pinky desires justice. Bring Pinky down to the yellow one, and then you will be ready. Yes, yes. I loaned Rarity my hairbrush about a year ago, and I don't want to be rude, but I think she forgot. Get a new hairbrush. I really like my old one. You haven't seen it in a year. Please? You know, you deserve to be miserable. I know. I'm sorry. I'll be back. Well, we're gonna be here all day if we make them all neat and tidy. Plus, you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna tear up the good nests that you make and then use them to build ugliness. It's true. I've seen them do it. You know what? Forget it. If you want a hairbrush, then go find Applejack and tell her to spare me some boys so I can get this done. Damn it. Fine. I'll be back. Applejack, I need boys. Like a team of them. You need what? Oh my god, is it your time of the season already? You just sit in the snow and think about Granny Apple shaving her legs. I'll go and I'll get a bucket of ice water. What? Oh, no! I'm just doing a favor for Rarity. Rarity. Well, that was my second guess. So hand Give me my holy water. You were to procure misery from the miserable Fluttershy. An easy task, if Pinky were to remark. Yes. But, instead, you return with a hairbrush! No, I know a hairbrush fits prominently into the equation here. It is okay. You do not need to excuse the Pinky. Yes. She forgives your crime. But, she does not provide her end of the deal. Pinky, you're a complete bitch! <laughs> Enjoy your misery. So who's going to lose their freedom? <laughs> oh my goodness! You said it! The Rainbow Falls Traders Exchange is simply divine! You can get anything you You say want that about everything! But you got the goods to drink for it! Okay... <laughs> so something will be traded. Thanks, Twilight! Whew. One ding nicker dent, and this Power Ponies comic book wouldn't be in perfect mint condition anymore. And okay. if you want to trade for a mint comic, you gotta have a mint comic. Nice thinking. I guess a pony who's here on official princess business has to expect a little <laughs> fussing. But all I'm supposed to do is settle disagreements over whether a trade is fair or not. And since the rule is that a trade is fair as long as both ponies get what they want, there's never been a disagreement. I wish it was like that in real life! Pony to treat me as anything special. <laughs> Hi, can I help you? Autographs! <laughs> there's a pony here who's got a signed first edition of Daring Do and the Quest of the Sapphire Statue! And I'm gonna get it! I've been able to get first editions of all the Daring Do books, except this one. No ponies ever put together a whole set, and I'm gonna be the first. If it hasn't been traded yet, it's the only one in all of Equestria. Oh no, I'd really hate to see you disappointed. I did want to trade this bear call I brought for a bird Ooh. whistle, but getting that book seems so important to you. So if you need me to help you... Sorry if I'm not talking, this said, okay, kind of a slow build-up, right. but I want to see where this goes. Some of the vintage 
vintage stall. Did you say vintage? Vintage. Get some old oh, Beano oh, comics. Or right oh, dandy. Vintage, if that's your preference. I just hope I brought enough to trade. I know what you mean. Bring some buddy. jewels. Everyone would be hey, happy for jewels. Why don't we pool our trade stashes. Pool? That way, if pool. we find something real valuable she can't live without, <gasps> she'll definitely be able to get it. Who could say no to exchanging a single object for such a huge assortment of items? Oh, yes. That is absolutely brilliant. I'm so glad I have a friend like you, Applejack. Yay! Apple rarity bonding. It's nice to see them not scrapping like cats and dogs for a change. Um, shouldn't your princessness be heading to the royal box seat? I may be the princess on duty, but I don't think that means I have to sit up there all alone doing nothing. Ever since I became Yeah, princess, Celestia visits whenever she wants. More books to read than ever. Except so when you're in trouble. Going, so I figured while we're here, I might as well trade away some books I don't need anymore. Mm -hmm. <gasps> there it is! Ah! For you, because I brought my most valuable possession to trade for it. My lucky horseshoe. It's no, it's valuable to you. What? That's just a rusty old horseshoe. That's not worth anything to me. You need to think about what's valuable to them. Yeah, she's gonna get the book she really wants. Well, she's not. <sighs> Unless. She can get me that. Oh, it's a whole chain of I want this item for this item for this item for this item. I see where this is going now, okay. Well, the pony running the ancient nice dog. stall doesn't want anything I got. But if you can get me the Orthros, I'll trade you the book for it. Alright. And if you want the Orthros, get me this. And if you want that, get me this. I don't know how, but somehow we're gonna get that Orthros. Yeah, okay, okay. So what's your plot thread? Oh, Applejack, I am so glad I found you. Me too. You're not gonna You want me. different things. Yeah. So where is this valuable vintage item you want to trade everything we have for? There. Where? Right there. But that's a dented old pie tin. A dented vintage pie tin? The yeah, vintage. Helps cook the pies up to five seconds faster. They don't make them like this anymore. I am so glad you showed that to me, darling. Because once you see what I found, you won't want to waste our trade goods on that. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at this gorgeous vintage brooch. It's yeah. It looks exactly like the one you're already wearing. Oh, yes, they may look the same, but I know it's older, and that's what makes it so much more divine. But that doesn't make a lick of sense. <laughs> like, I wager if I switched them up, you wouldn't even know the difference. Oh, don't be silly. Of course I would. Neither. Oh, the real one's the behind your ear. One. That one, of course. You're bluffing. Am I? How can you tell? Well, because... Duh, I can't. Because the one you want to waste our whole stash on is exactly the same as the one you already got. There's no way any pony would notice the difference. I'd say it's a lot more likely they'd notice that than some dented tin that cooked a pie a whole two seconds faster. It's five, five seconds. seconds faster. <laughs> okay, so... Who else has to have a conflict? Pinky! Is Pinky being left out again? <sighs> this keeps slipping up. Oh, hello. You're such a good two-headed boy. Yes, you are. <laughs> that is adorable. You've got a cool design. So far, I don't feel like this concept is enough to drag it to a whole episode. Not really feeling this one. 
Discord lamp! Discord shaped lamps? Seriously? He's well, cashing you in! You have everything at the Traders Exchange. Will you trade a lamp for my horseshoe so I can trade it for North Rose and get my book? No. But I'd trade it for an antique chicken. Great! What's an antique chicken? I know what this is going to loop back to. Well, the last person that will want the Daring Do book. I got your blue hands, speckled greys, your... Okay, cool. So, will you trade one for a horseshoe so I can trade it for a lamp and then trade it for an orthro so I can get my book? No! Well, let me think. Uh, no. Unless... But I'd gladly trade one of my chickens for a crystal chalice. <laughs> Hang on a sec. We need a crystal chalice to trade for a chicken, to trade for a lamb, to trade for North Rose. So, what are you willing to trade for? I'm guessing it's gotta be some crazy thing way across the exchange. Actually, I could use a slightly rusty old horseshoe. Yeah, but All I'm right. gonna find out. Wait! I've got one of those! Now that we've got the chalice, this is gonna be a cinch! Do you really think so? Smash! All you do is bring this thing to the chicken stand I love that face! Yes! <laughs> you want me to trade all my books for a broken pen? Alright, fine. Oh, I Twilight! I was trying to get rid of all the books I don't need anymore. For that? Do you really want that? What? Well, not really, but I'm running out of library space, so... Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, so this is what you're doing. <laughs> According to the rules of the exchange, a trade is only fair if both ponies end up with something they want. You can't break the rules. <laughs> Did any pony see you do it? I don't think any pony saw. But you are not going to say anything, are you? <laughs> or I'll grind you into cupcakes. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you better run. You want to go check out the rest of the exchange and trade whatever you brought? No. Oh, I saw that as a preview image. <laughs> oh god, Pinky. <laughs> that looks like shit. I just hope it looks okay. It's vintage! Perfect. <laughs> oh my god, really? Perfect for the broken chalice mosaic I'm making. Alright. Alright. What kind of antique chicken do you want? I got speckled brown, grey, oh no. Web the pony were supposed to trade the chicken statue to didn't tell us what kind you wanted. Okay, look, I'm fast. I'll fly over to the lamp stand and find out what kind of chicken you want. Just don't let any pony trade for any chicken while I'm gone, okay? Um, well, okay. Hmm. I can do that, I think. Come on, use what you learned from putting your hoof down. Um, well, maybe you shouldn't get one of those. You know, unless you really want to. Aww. She got pretty far. She got one sentence. You go. I'll stay here. Well, <laughs> since we can't both get what we want, I will be the better friend. You take our trade goods and get what you want. I'm an amazing friend. So even though it's for something that don't seem valuable, oh, at all, you take. Our I'm trade. surprised. You let me get what I want. I thought they'd scrap <laughs> over this. You are going to get what you want. No, you are. No, you are. This is a very interesting way. <laughs> I like Hello? it. We got the kind of chicken you asked for. Hello? Where's the pony run in this joint? On break? Ugh. These books make Twilight the princess she is. Before that, she was nothing. That's nothing! <laughs> Are you taking lessons from Flim and Flam? Just a moment, please. Pinky, I appreciate your help and all, but I'm not sure I'm comfortable with this. No pony should trade for my books just because I'm a princess. I'm not better than any pony else. I know you're not better than every pony. Just leave this to me. Did I mention that Princess Twilight got these books from Princess Celestia? Whoa. 
Oh, wait. You don't mean... Oh, that's right! Double princess all the way across the land! <laughs> there he is! Look, I know it's your break and all, but you gotta open your stand so we can trade you for a lamp! Sorry, girls. Been trading all day. My belly's telling me it's time to eat an oat burger. Oh, come on, please! Pretty, pretty, please. <laughs> Sorry, Bailey says no. But the exchange ends at sundown. No. I've got an idea. Steal some food. Next. Oh, kitchen help. They're more effective at it than him. <laughs> uh, you're not having any money off him. Is is that a problem? Oh, okay, it wasn't a problem. Please don't take that thing out of context. It's going to be. You can fetch what you want, because that's the kind of tried and true friend I am. I am way too generous to let you outfit me like that. We got to hurry. Time to break out the Moses gloves. Part the sea of people. Oh, wait a moment! You've got wings. Or would you? Oh, sorry, you'd leave the dog behind. My bear call. Aww. what the point of introducing it was. Hey, you said you wanted an Orthros. I've been watching that thing over in the ancient beast booth. It's crazy. <laughs> I want one in my house. There, there. That's a good Orthros. <laughs> you just have to know how to treat them. With a little patient treat and a big slobber mop, they can be a wonderful household pet. Oh, all right. <laughs> Flutter a shiner away with animals. Well, <laughs> if she comes and stays with us in Manhattan until it's trained. Gosh, oh. training in Northrop's takes a long time. I'll probably be gone from Ponyville for I don't even know how many moons. Oh, Fluttershy! So we got a fair deal? Of course it's a deal! Yeah! Oh. I did it! I did it! Fluttershy, can you believe it? Yeah, loyalty time. Take it back. Now that looks fun, but not fun enough! These are the 
<laughs> not foot enough. <laughs> Like that. None of us! <laughs> Yay! Worms will really like this episode. <laughs> about that. <laughs> so are AJ and Rarity resolving their thing? Or did I miss that? Hi Spike! Touching friendship moments. Exactly the same, sitting in the drawer doing nothing. So that should settle it once and for all. Which of us is the better friend? Oh come on! You both gave up what you wanted to do something for each other. That's the coolest thing a friend can do. Trust me, I know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, where's your double double? I traded it for something way better. Oh. Okay, this episode went into diabetes territory. Oh, jeez. Like, on the whole, I still maintain the fact that I don't think it was really enough of a concept to pull a whole episode into. Like, you know, that's just how I feel, but what they did with it was good. Um, especially the third, the third act is probably the best act. Like, the second act had a little bit of comedy in it, but the third was so sweet. You know, you see the friendship between all the pairs. Uh, that, that's what I like to see from this show. It's so heartwarming. And, you know, there's like nothing to hate about any of the characters. Everybody did well. Oh, jeez. I, I really enjoyed that last part. It raises it up. Raises it up. Um, yeah, but on the whole, the trade fair sounds like an interesting concept, and I wish we'd do something similar in shops in general. Like, you know, <laughs> forgo money and just trade what what you need. <laughs> I, I'd love to, like, take a video camera I don't use anymore, and s stroll down to the store and buy an arcade machine or something. <laughs> I don't know. The possibilities are limitless. It depends what you want. Someone could want a rubber band for like a bike or something. You never know. Oh, but yeah, I felt they they I felt like they did what they could with the concept, and that's all we can really ask. But yeah, uh, I know we've got the Equestria Games coming up before the end of the season. I can't remember what the other one's called. The one before it. But I'll look forward to it. 
yeah, I can't really think of much to say about this, really. I, <laughs> I did enjoy it. <laughs>